Hey Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff. This is your next 48 hours for February 11th to the 12th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Aquarius. What's going on, my Aquarius, in the next 48 hours, spirit? What's Aquarius need to know for February 11th to the 12th of 2022 for Aquarius? February 11th to the 12th of 2022 for Aquarius. February 11th to the 12th of 2022 for Aquarius. Next 48 hours for Aquarius. Spirit. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what's going on. These are intended to be short readings, but they have not been short. But hopefully I can make this one short. We have Crab Retreat. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Overall energy is Moth Caution. Ooh, it's telling you to pull back from something and be cautious. Okay, because you're getting a lot of attention or a lot of attention from one person in particular. It could be multiple people for some of you. It could be one person in particular it's telling you to pull back from that and be cautious because like a moth to the flame, you're, get, you're getting a lot of attention, but all attention isn't good, you know. <laughs> but let's get into the town and see what they're trying to tell you to pull away from because they clearly want you to pull away from something or someone. All right, for Aquarius. Next 48 hours. For my Aquarians, February 11th to the 12th of 2022 for Aquarius. February 11th to the 12th of 2022 for Aquarius. February 11th to the 12th of 2022 for Aquarius. Next 48 hours for Aquarius. All right, last shuffle for Aquarius. All right, we have Page of Swords, 17, which is also an 8. Um, the numbers I call out can be dates, times, ages, whatever. All right, we have the Four of Wands, 20. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, 69, which is a 15 or a 6. All right, overall energy is the Six of Wands, which is a 54, which is also a 9. Murmur, whispers, gossip. That's what I'm getting. Oh, uh, yeah. Four of Wands, strong foundation, page of swords. Yeah. So you've been doing research on how to create a business or um, a, a home. Yeah. You've been doing research on how to make, create a business or um, marriage or a home, a strong foundation of some, of some kind. So it could be either school, marriage, or a building or a home or something like that or a business. You've been doing research on how to create that or start a small business or something like that. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, you've been putting in the work. So it's going to be different things for all of you. The Four of Wands is a strong foundation. So again, it could be school, business, home, work. You're trying to either get a new home or get your first place or go to school, go back to school or something like that. I feel like it's a building or you're building something on a strong foundation, you've been researching it. So that's why you're pulling away so that you can focus and research. Overall, I need to use the Six of Wands. So you're going to be very successful. I'm so sorry if you hear the squeaking. My guinea pigs decided to argue. Raven and Brownie, cut it out. Please. The ghetto, y'all. The ghetto. <laughs> anyway, overall, I need to use the Six of Wands. So whatever you're researching and studying, especially about a strong foundation of business, you're going to be very successful. With the six of wands being the overall energy, that's victory and success and public acknowledgement. So that is this reading is going to be great, especially with that being the overall energy. That's a blessing. Clarify this for Aquarius. Clarify this message for Aquarius. So you're going to be very successful if you're going back to school for business or um, for law school. If it's a marriage, if you're trying to get a building or a business or a home, it's going to be successful. I feel like you're working to save up for it or buy it. It's yours. You win. All right. Clarify this Aquarius. You're very successful. And people praise you and worship you for this. You're getting like praise for it. Bless, um, clarify this for Aquarius. I almost, say, I almost said bless this for Aquarius. Clarify this for Aquarius. Oh, um, happy birthday, Aquarius. I think it's still Aquarius season. Clarify this for Aquarius. My guinea pigs just threw a temper tantrum. That's hilarious. Um, whenever I tell my guinea pigs to stop fighting, like one of them get, throws a temper tantrum, they popcorn. It's so cute. <laughs> Clarify this for Aquarius. Clarify this for Aquarius. All right, I'm going to give y'all one more shot. Clarify this for Aquarius. 
Raven and Brownie, what is going on? They about to, they about to make me lose my mind. Okay, here. Why y'all decide to start arguing now? Clarifying the page of swords is the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So it could be about a marriage or moving in with each other. You're researching on how to propose or how to move in. Ace of Cups, what? Ace of Wands, whoo. Okay, you got love and passion. Okay, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> Clarifying the um, four of wands. It's the king of swords. There you are. There you are. Yeah. Queen of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or taking on this energy, or you just feeling good. It's a lot of passion here. Oof. 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 <laughs> Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is a tower. And the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. Overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. This is also Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So, okay, Aquarius, y'all got some fun stuff going on. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so you got the Page of Swords clarified by the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So you already know someone's been doing their work or research on or on a particular person or subject about love and passion. So you know how a person, a person in particular likes to be loved or showered. So you're giving the right amount of passion, the right amount of love. It's just, it's beautiful. Or you're just researching the love languages, but you got to write the right amount of love and passion. I feel like this is definitely some Valentine's Day stuff. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, that is like a fantasy type of thing. And with the Four of Wands, you're definitely setting the scene. So you have some type of, um, with the retreat, you could have booked a place or a vacation spot or something like that where you two could go away. Because we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So you definitely booked a place or you just have some type of... Um, you have a building set for just you two so that y'all can do whatever y'all going to do. But with the king, with the Knight of Pentacles, something you worked really hard for the Tower of Seven of Swords. Oh, it's a surprise. So you're going to surprise someone or someone's going to surprise you. You, Yeah, you're not prepared for this or they are. I'm sorry if I'm ruining the surprise, but it's going to be a success. This is karmically meant to occur. So for some of you, someone is proposing at a certain location on Valentine's Day or someone's planning something in secret or you are, it is going to be very successful. So with um, Moth Caution, um, that's the only card that's confusing me. Maybe um, don't tell anybody, don't share your plans and don't go looking for it either. If um, it's happening to you, don't go looking for it, just let it come to you. But just know that someone has been doing their research about how to shower you on Valentine's Day, they've been planning this. It's currently meant to occur, and it's going to be very successful. If you're planning this, know that it's going to be very successful. Trust your intuition. Don't tell anyone, and don't go looking for it. But I'm, I'm seeing um, next 48 hours or Valentine's Day being like someone's going to take you somewhere. Someone's made reservations somewhere, and it's going to be um, it's going to be really good, really good Valentine's Day for you, Aquarius. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below. I always have her rings displayed up here, and I wear them, and I have her necklace right here, and she does commission work. Her Etsy is in the description box below. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Aquarius. Namaste.